the motherfucking deal YouTube. This your boy Nazarian. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I thank you guys for uh supporting the channel. And shout out to uh my friend Miss Saucy. She been rated today by Jalen Kid. So I appreciate the love and the support. I was happy to see her get ready because I was in the stream when she got ready. So shout out to her. Let's get right into the video. I've been doing this video about three times and my video still haven't posted. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Uh the Rockets lose the game 104 <coughs> to 99 against the Golden State Warriors. <sighs> I'm very disappointed in the Houston Rockets play. Very disappointed. We were down 14 at halftime. And all of a sudden, Eric Gordon gets on fire. After putting up a donut in the first half, he gets on fire. Start making threes. But <clears throat> James Harden and Chris Paul has disappointed me the game in this game. Chris Paul disappointed me the whole series so far. When is Chris Paul going to get aggressive? When he ever going to get aggressive and start looking for shots more? And Clint Capella playing like shit. Rashad Williams, you told me Clint Capella is a top five center in the league. That's what you told me. Was it by the way he was playing during the season? Or he was already a top five center to you? From when I'm looking at in these playoffs, when it all matters the most, even when he was playing great in the regular season <clears throat> and he had a case to be an all-star, I never was sold on Clint Capella being a top five center. He has potential. Yes, he made 62% of his shots of, from the three free throw line. The guy's playing soft. He's playing weak. How many times I have to tell in my videos, say, when James Harden and Chris Paul do pick and roll, stop throwing a damn bounce pass to this guy. The guy's not catching the ball. The guy cannot catch the ball. He doesn't have great hands. He, does, he has terrible footwork. When he gets the ball in the middle of the court off that pick and roll, he's scared. He's traveling. traveling. He's getting a traveling violation every time because he's scared to death to go over a 6'9 guy in Draymond Green and Andre Iguodala. Iman Shumpert had an excellent game last night. Nene, six points. He was good when he was in the game. Gerald Green didn't show up. Austin Rivers, no show. But as frustrating as the game was last night, the Warriors got I got to give them more credit. They won this game last night. The Warriors won this game last night. All of a sudden, KD goes out with a calf injury. Stephen Curry gets on fire. I told you guys repeatedly, Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, especially Klay Thompson, wake up for games like these. Two years ago, Against the Thunder. Game 5, 6, and 7. What did he do? Carry the uh, Warriors. Last year, 6 and 7. Clay Thompson shows up. And Curry shows up. Last night, Kevin Durant goes out. Clay Tur Stephen Curry, nothing all game. Nothing all season. Nothing all game long. Did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Gets a couple of layups. All of a sudden, he's on fire. Clay Thompson on fire. How about Draymond Green? 89, the 80, uh, the 70, the 91. Hits a big three, a momentum three. 94, 89. All of a sudden, Rockets miss a shot. The ball goes to Iggy Dollar. Rotates it to Clay Thompson. Bang, open three. How many times we're going to stall the ball? Wait to eight seconds to get a good shot. To get a shot off. We got to wait to 8 seconds in the clock. Why do we have to wait to 8 seconds in the clock to get into an offense? Why we can't have more ball movement? If you're going to stall a ball. If you're going to do ISO ball. Let's go early in the shot clock. Let's not stall the ball. But when is Chris Paul and Capella's going to show up? P.J. Tucker's playing his heart out. You got to assess the Warriors guards. They're tired. Stephen, you're not going to show fatigue. Stephen Curry got his hands on his knees at the free throw line. He is tired. The Rockets are doing a good job going at them, wearing them down, making them play defense, making them try hard, too. They're making them play defense real hard. All them switches Stephen Curry have to go through all game and all Eric Gordon and all those that wait on Stephen Curry, James Harden, Eric Gordon, 
Chris Paul have to switch every single play, that ties the guy out. That ties not that ties you out. Stephen Curry is no doubt tired. And the Warriors are beat up. If the Rockets would have won this game, Kevin Durant is hurt. Even if they do win the series, Kevin Durant, because Kevin Durant got hurt. So the same thing that happened to the Rockets last year is happening to the Golden State Warriors this year. Iguodala has a knee injury. The Rockets must force a game seven somehow. I don't give a shit how you do it. You have to force a game seven. Clint Capella's got to play better. Chris Paul's got to get more aggressive. Clint Capella's got to stop playing like shit and play like soft. And no, don't no Rockets fan ever tell me Clint Capella's a goddamn top five center. And you tell me name five centers that are better. I just named you five centers that are better if you go look at the video. Now, Rashawn Williams, you're my boy. You've been my boy since uh, I first started. But I got to put you in your place. Clint Capella's not a top five center. Now, you can comment like you always do. And tell me that and explain your case. But I need you in the front office explaining Clint Capella's play. You did say he was a top five center. And I always said, no, he's not. He's got potential, but he still got shit to work on. He's got to work on footwork. He's got to learn how to go up strong. And finish. He missed some of the easiest layups. The easiest layups. Most of the bunny layups, he missed those. Don't ask me. I don't know how it does he miss those layups. But you shouldn't be missing those damn layups like that. You should be going up strong. You should be able to catch a damn basketball. Get a damn rebound. Box somebody out. You're too athletic and too skilled for that. We've been out rebounding again. That's not good. Rockets got to win game six. If the Rockets don't win game six... This series, it's, it's a disappointment. It's a disappointment. Due to the fact that the Warriors are banged up. Iguodala has a knee injury. The guards are tired. The Rockets are wearing them down. You have to force a game seven. I don't give a damn Kevin Durant got to play that game seven. You have to force a game seven in Golden State and try to win that one. You cannot go out in Houston without Kevin Durant playing a game, playing in game six. If he doesn't play, you cannot go down. I don't give a shit if he does play. He's still hurt. You take advantage of that, just like Golden State took advantage last year of Chris Paul being hurt. I'm very disappointed in the Rockets' play, but the Splash Brothers stepped up. 17-31 uh, uh, first quarter by Golden State, 26-26 second quarter, 29-15 third, uh, third quarter by the Rockets. It was tied up, I believe, at 73 at, uh, at the end of the quarter. 27-32 uh, uh, fourth quarter, the Rockets lose that by five. 41% uh, for the Houston Rockets, 87% uh, from the free throw line, 29% uh, from the three, 19, I mean, 19 assists. That's piss poor. You need more assist than that. You gotta have ball movement. We can't wait to eight seconds of the shot clock just to uh just to go and run an offensive play, Mike D'Antoni. You gotta get these guys to move the damn basketball a little more. James Harden, three points in the fourth quarter. That's un fucking acceptable. Thirty nine rebounds was out rebounded by three. Uh, forty five percent. Yeah, seventy two percent from the free throw line. Thirty five percent from uh three point line. Twenty eight assists for. The Warriors always, they're going to always have great ball movement. Uh, 10 uh, rebounds, 10, uh, 42 rebounds, my bad. 31, 8, and 4, 19 for James Harden, 19 and 2 for Eric Gordon. He showed up in the second half after putting up a donut in the first half. Uh, Chris Paul, you have to be more aggressive in game 6, 11, 6 and 6. That's not getting the goddamn job done. And plus, you shot, shot 40 from the field. P.J. Tucker been a monster all series. Been playing his heart out. I don't care if this guy go 0 for 15. This guy going to give you effort on the defensive end. He's always going to get a big rebound. He's always going to make a defensive play to make up for his uh, lack of offensive skill play. 13 and 10. Clint Capella, show your ass up. You didn't show up. You had 14 rebounds, but you got to show your ass up in a game. You're not a top five goddamn center. Uh, Austin Rivers not showing up. Nene, uh, six points. 
Joe Green, nothing. Iman Shumpert, great game. Excellent game by Iman Shumpert, 11 points. Uh, 22, 5, 22, 4, and 5 before Kevin Durant got hurt. Uh, 25, uh, 5, and 6. Uh, 27, uh, and 4 for Clay Thompson. Uh, Draymond Green, who has the momentum 3 in the game, who I thought was the dagger 3 to make it 94, 89. Uh, he hit that 3, a big 3, pretty much. Um, 8, 11, and 12. Iggy Dollar, uh, is pretty banged up. He has a knee injury. Uh, 11, 5, and 4. Kavon Looney had 9 rebounds, got some big offensive rebounds. I like the, uh, energy fight by Kavon Looney, 5 and 9. Uh, you got uh, Livingston two points. Jonas Jericho hits a three to start off the fourth quarter. Uh, that's 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 all the scoring for the Golden State Warriors. That's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this game. 104 to 99. Splash Brothers clutch up in this game. Uh, Rockets got to win game six. Uh, like I said, if Kevin Durant doesn't play, Rockets got to win game six. But I'm hoping he plays. So it wouldn't be no excuses. It's going to be an excuse anyway because he banged up. But the Rockets got to play better. They got to get better ball movement. Clint Capella has to step up. Chris Paul has to be more aggressive. Thank you, guys. 104-99. to uh, Golden State up three games to two. Let's see. Can the Rockets force a game seven in Houston? Thank you, guys. I'm out. Peace.